Hey, this is Jeff with Cheek and Scott, and today I'm so excited we're going to talk about why beans are good for your heart. Actually, it's Heart Health Month. Wear red, and um, we want to talk a little bit about heart health. I am um, super excited to say we've seen success with some natural things for the heart. Um, of course, we know exercise, we know eating well is, is beneficial for the heart, but this is my favorite right here. The NOW CoQ10. Um, one of the things about it is CoQ10 is essential for anyone who is on statin type drugs and uh, it depletes specifically that nutrient. So we can replenish that nutrient by taking CoQ10 if you take any of the statin drugs that lower the cholesterol and you can strengthen the heart. You'll notice a difference in um, uh, it'll lessen a lot of the side effects, the energy, the mental clarity, sleeping, all kind of different things that it has benefit of muscle pain. When you replenish what's depleted with the drug, things get better. I also had a, a, a heart patient who was actually a friend, an older man in my church, and he uh, was waiting on a heart transplant, and I recommended the CoQ10. He went up in strength. It was either two or 300 milligrams from where we started and increased his energy level. He was feeling better. He said his oxygen level got better. I'm not saying it's a miracle thing, but it absolutely will help with heart health. Well, in that, I take it because I want my heart to be healthy, and um, I am taking it to help lower blood pressure and help with the strengthening of my heart, which I used to take statins, but uh, oh my goodness, Steven. Look who's here. Hey, this is my heart throb right here of 20, 20, 20 something years. Isn't that awesome? 28 years. This is Melody. And wearing red. Aren't you cool? Yeah, I just came by to say hi. Well, hey. <laughs> well, today we're talking about heart health. And um, there's some things that we do in our family to, to help with healthy levels of HDL in the blood. Uh, there's other benefits of oils, like we learned some things even more recently about fish oil versus uh, other omega-3 oils. With men, with the fish oil, it can enlarge the prostate, which causes other problems, and they need to be on a different type oil. Uh, there's omega-3. Let me show you, Stephen. Mel, come on over. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just... Uh, Let's look at these different, we've got, oh my gosh, we've got oils forever. We got fish oil, which is great. We just need to make sure we got mercury free. And those are good to raise your HDL, the healthy uh, cholesterol that removes the plaque instead of transplanting it in. We've got krill oil, which is an alternative thing that supposedly helps with the men. But what I like is just the essential oils, flax, fish and borage or flaxseed alone, um, actually not the fish flax, but the, fa the flaxseed alone. And what, what you've got there is you've got the benefit of the essential oils and correcting the ratio of HDL to LDL without the negative effect of the prostate problem with a man. But in a lady, there's all kind of benefits with the flax oil. Do you know any of them? You take it daily, right? Yeah, but well, it's, listen. it's because my, my pharmacist says so. <laughs> well, let me put this product down. Let me tell you some benefits. And, and you know, my wife has reached a monumental time around our house. My son refers to AARP a lot. Careful. Careful. This is true. In fact, they were calling me AARP on the disc golf course, and I wore them out. My son Jason and my son Jacob. I want that to go on record. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyhow, um, with the flaxseed, there, there is benefits. They have shown in double-blinded studies that for some reason there's, a, there's antioxidants or some type of effect. I'll have to go back and do my research again. That actually reduces a breast cancer in women. It helps with regularity when you get to AARP age. And um, it also helps correct the uh, cholesterol levels. And um, I'm not trying to pick on this lady because she is my heart throb. <laughs> and we're so thankful to be talking to you about heart health yeah. during this month. 
Is there anything that you wanted to add? I mean, I kind of put you on the spot, so maybe a story or something. Um, well, you, you know, the, I, I do listen to my pharmacist, so if you have questions, you, you should call your pharmacist at Cheek & Scott because they are very um, well-read and understand benefits of heart-healthy um, vitamins and natural meds but there there's one thing we've been married for 28 years and the, the she knew one that thing, right off oh my god <laughs> that's great that is awesome so while while they're listening there's one story i i will tell on jeff that when, when we were first married we were we were in college and um I guess Jeff had the heart help on his mind at the very beginning, but we were apart for a while because he was in school at the University of Georgia and I was in Valdosta. And I went to visit him one weekend and he made me a heart-shaped cake. Oh boy. He took a square pan and a round pan and he cut them so that they all looked like a heart when I got there for Valentine's Day. So heart has help has been on his mind for a long yeah. time. Yeah, you know what guys, that's a tip. A heart-shaped cake can last 28 <laughs> years. <laughs> Don't forget, Valentine's is next Tuesday. If you need essential oils, we're going to have a special then, so you come and check us out. Thanks for visiting us on Facebook. Yeah. Thanks for coming and sharing your heart with us today, Mel.